Henry Cavill has provided an update on his Warhammer universe. For those that don't know, Henry Cavill is the Kevin Feige of Games Workshop's Warhammer movie and TV universe through Amazon Prime. So he is the one which is handling this all. He's the executive producer. He's running it all. He's managing it all. He's going to be the guy overseeing everything. He is the Kevin Feige of this Warhammer stuff. Uh, and he, he said a really, really good stuff. I mean, look, faithful is key is what he said. And if everyone knows anything about, uh, you know, what what happened behind the scenes on The Witcher, for instance, he he stands by this. He's done this many times. I mean, he, he stepped down from The Witcher because they were being a complete joke. So, you know, he, he does mean it. And he's a massive fan of Warhammer, uh, longtime fan, big old geek, plays all this stuff, builds the models, paints them, etc. So he's big into it. So when he says being faithful is key, I believe him and I trust him. And so he was on uh, the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast to promote Argyle. And Cavill said, it is the greatest privilege of my professional career to have this opportunity. I can't say too much again. It's early days still, but to have this opportunity to bring it to the screen and be at the tiller so it can be faithful is key. And this is what he said. Being at the tillet, that, that's him. That is him basically saying, Yes, I am the guy that's overseeing this. I am reiterating, I am that Kevin Feige type. This is the stuff I've been dealing with since I was a kid. This is sort of the stuff I spend my free time daydreaming about as an adult as well. And I get to bring it into life. And there is no greater reason than why I joined the industry than doing something like this. And I'm very happy to be here. Just this comment. It is the greatest privilege of my professional career. Yeah, more than Fantastic. Superman. Like, this is it. That's that. That shows how big of a fan he is of this IP that he's working on. Mm. Uh, and that's why a lot of fans are happy that he's a part of it because he's he's not going to allow it to get turned into something for modern audiences uh he wants it to stick to what it is and why people like it so much and then put that out there to the masses to a lot bigger audience so they can see what warhammer is all about because me personally i know nothing about warhammer 40k nothing but when this Mm -hmm. movie comes out i'll definitely go check it out and that'll be my introduction to it And uh, I'm sure he's probably going to keep it uh, faithful to uh, the source material. Well, so just for for more perspective, he's literally overseeing a movie and TV universe for Warhammer. Oh, so they're doing a movie and TV show. So when I say he's literally the Kevin Feige, he's literally the Kevin Feige of Warhammer now. Yeah, I'm I'm on board. I'm on board with it because I know he's a, a passionate fan of that universe. So big, big, big fan. Big, big nerd on it all. Go on, Tom. Oh, oh. Yeah, you almost got me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do it anyway. Excellent. Cut Tom. Where are you at, bro? Tom's dead. Tom. Tom's dead. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so as far as Henry Cavill and the whole Warhammer thing, I don't know jack squat about Warhammer. <laughs> don't. Uh, but uh, for the fans of this, this is a good sign. I'm glad Henry's passionate about it. It's about time we heard a, a lot of people have been asking about it for a while, so there you go. Uh, that's about all I have to say about that. Well, you've got an additional rumor, haven't you? What's that additional rumor, sorry? Well, this goes with Highlander, actually. This uh come up over on Joe Blow. Uh, mm. The rumor is that Michael Fassbender may be playing the villain in uh, the new Highlander. Like I like that. That's a good pick. That's a good. Yeah, pick. we don't know exactly who the villain's going to be. If it's going to be the Kurgan or somebody different, considering, but yeah, I think it was someone new. But yeah, I like that. That's a good pick. I think. Um, Culture, what do you think about? Uh, I I'm Eric excited. 
I'm excited, man. I like you said. This is this guy is all about the stuff that that we love. He's in, he's all in. He's one of us. I mean, he has been since the very beginning. That's why they don't like him so much. And the fact that he's getting this much control over something like this is money, money. Very excited about it. And and maybe he'll get a chance to show off what he's got because he really hasn't had a chance to do it yet, and it's very disappointing. Yeah. And what do you think about Michael Fassbender Highlander? I think that's incredible. That'd be amazing. I, I think I think Fassbender's been unutilized in, in large scale projects for a long time. I think he, he's he's not been granted opportunities that he absolutely deserves. So but that's a personal thing. I mean you know I mean I just don't think he's I don't think he's ever been utilized properly, just like Cavill hasn't been utilized properly. So it's kinda like this is a great comeuppance moment for them to, you know, be out there. Mm. I don't know. What do you yeah. think? What do you think? Yeah. yeah. I, I think this is his sort of like to everyone. That's yeah. his, you know, middle finger to everyone. Yeah. See, <laughs> I did it. I did it. Kind of, kind of deal. I like it. I like it a lot. Right. Well, there you go. Uh, let's get to some super chats. 